Jennifer Dumas spends a lot of quiet time with her six-month daughter, Cody Lynn. <laughs> She's a giggly baby, despite her surroundings, inside the maximum security Bedford Hills Correctional Facility in New York. I was like, what, a nursery in jail? Are you serious? <laughs> like, at first I was thinking about it, I'm like, this is crazy. Like, no way. Like, you have all these people around. But when I actually got here, I was like, it's not, it's not as bad as what I was thinking. The New York prison is one of eight prison nurseries in the U.S. where convicted mothers can stay with their babies. In most prisons, babies born behind bars must be given up to a relative or foster care. I got charged with attempted burglary second. Dumas was three weeks pregnant when she was arrested with her boyfriend for trying to steal a safe packed with $32,000 worth of cash and jewelry. Now, between daily work and chores, she spends her time with Cody Lynn. At Bedford, inmates are allowed to spend up to 18 months of their sentence in the nursery unit. Since the 1980s, the number of women in prison has grown more than 700 percent. According to the nonprofit Sentencing Project, an estimated 1 in 25 women are pregnant when they enter prison. Katie Young is serving time at the Decatur Correctional Center in Illinois for drug-related crimes. She considers the chance to live with her daughter, Marissa, a blessing, but she's away from her other two children. To be separated from them is awful. I mean, it's the worst experience that I have to go through, and I live with that every day. Um, all I can do is just look for the, forward to the future. But not all experts support raising babies behind bars, arguing prisons should be reserved for punishment and the focus should be on what's best for the baby. Researcher Mary Byrne, who spent years studying mothers and children at Bedford's nursery, found the practice allows crucial bonding. At the end of the, their prison nursery time, they were able to pass on to the majority of the children a sense of security, a secure base, um, and trust in the primary caregiver who was the mother. Uh, so that was really quite astonishing. But she says there should be better community service alternatives for pregnant women to begin with. Sister Teresa Fitzgerald runs the nonprofit Our Children that operates the Bedford Nursery. She agrees more support is needed, which is why after release, they provide everything from a job to daycare to clothes. We all deserve a second chance in whatever avenue, and that's really what this is all about. Come sit. After serving two years at Bedford for drug trafficking, Stephanie Reese now lives and works at Our Children with her son Major. She is about to attend Hunter College to be a social worker. And he's what really keeps me going and just want to give him a life that I never had and just break the cycle that has been passed on from generation to generation. That's what many of these mothers seek, redemption through caring for another life. Bye -bye. Bonnie Ghosh, Associated Press, New York.